Wright is pleased to offer selected works from three private collections in our post-war and contemporary art auction on September 14th, Themistocles and Der Mikos. Actively engaged in collecting contemporary art for the past 20 years, the couple served on the acquisition committee of the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, where they were instrumental in facilitating the growth and development of the museum's permanent collection. The focus of the Mikos collection has been on performance and installation art, in addition to other approaches of art making that are out of the mainstream. Highlights from the collection include numerous works by Jorge Pardo, whose art bridges the otherwise disparate disciplines of architecture, design, and fine art. Works in the collection by Franz West and Atelier von Leishout represent a radical approach to art making that subverts aesthetics, while challenging works by Jan Bach, Katie Noland, and Franz Ackermann display the ability of the collectors to pursue avant-garde art that plows new creative paths and challenges the viewer. Katie Noland is a conceptual and installation-based artist. Her installation, Untitled, from 1997, uses a rubber tire and a steel pipe which resemble a work in progress rather than a formal or finished sculpture. The piece echoes the undertones present throughout her work and speaks of abandoned plans and hopes discarded. Franz West is represented by several works in the sale. The decidedly simple chairs and table are created from common materials of steel rods, glass, and fabric that challenge the usual rules of good design. The performance art of Jan Bach is represented in four lots in the sale. His medium of choice is the lecture. In his lectures, Bach uses language, dramatic performance elements, sculptural objects, and diagrams. He acts on stages built from tables, cupboards, or multi-level risers. The works are handmade objects or accessories from the lectures, constructed from clothing, found objects, and electrical equipment that act as a theatrical, three-dimensional collage. Stanley and Mickey Whitehorn. This couple has been collecting art since 1998 when they first met. The Whitehorns embrace work that pushes boundaries and explores controversial issues such as race, class struggle, and religion. Highlights of their collection include works by Robert Colescott, Emma Amos, Ken Aptekar, Brett Cook Disney, and Michael Ray Charles. Robert Colescott. The African-American artist is best known for his satirical works, often making commentary on the bitter experience of the black man and woman in America. This work pays homage to the Buffalo Soldiers, who were established by Congress as the first peacetime all-black regiments of the U.S. Army. Michael Ray Charles. The artist's work addresses the legacy of historic stereotypes related to African Americans and incorporates medium that appears to be found or is in derelict condition. He frequently uses characters such as Sambo, Aunt Jemima, and Uncle Tom to make commentary on contemporary racial issues. Robert Schiffler. The Robert J. Schiffler Foundation has amassed an extraordinary collection of works since the 1980s. Highlights from the collection have been included in innumerable museum and gallery shows. In 2002, the Institute of Contemporary Art organized an exhibition of works from the foundation's holdings, including selections by Felix Gonzalez Torres, Christian Marclay, Jessica Stockholder, among others. We are thrilled to offer an assortment of works from Schiffler's personal and foundation collection. Sylvie Fleury. This seminal early work by the artist features numerous shopping bags arranged together on the floor. Her shopping bag installations laid the foundation for a body of work that would draw on elements both from 20th century art and consumer society. Charles Ladre. Ladre started out in the early 1990s making tiny men's suits stuffed with even smaller suits, hand sewn and strung along a clothesline above the viewer's head, or stitched together to form a rope that dangled from the ceiling. This work is of a figure crouched on the floor underneath a blanket. The figure is obscured from the viewer, creating a physical and psychological tension. Mona Hatoum. The visceral and physical work of Mona Hatoum is represented by two pieces from the collection, the photograph Van Gogh's back and rubber mat rendered in silicone. With an intense focus on the human body, the artist manifests a conflicting emotion of desire and revulsion. The familiar is rendered unknown, which challenges the fixed understanding of the viewer.